Jamie, can you believe this? Another letter from the great beyond. And the last paragraph? I know, that if she dies, he should never remarry. I mean, how selfish is that? Hasn't she ever learned to share? And thank God I stole the letter from Ethan before he could finish reading it, because if he had read that last paragraph, there's no way he'd go through with the wedding. Oh, I know. It's like she left little landmines all over the place just in case she died. I, I don't know, Gwen. It's just all a little too convenient. I know what you mean. Wait a minute. Are you sure this is Teresa's handwriting? Because if it's not, then it means somebody else could be planning this. Yeah, but who? Gwen, who else? Pilar, her mother. What do you think she learned to be so conniving? She learned it on Mama Sita's knee. This, this really does look like Teresa's handwriting. Mm. Are you so sure? You know, I am going to go get a sample of Teresa's handwriting, something we know that she wrote, and we're going to compare the two. And if they don't match, then somebody else is up to no good. Got it. Okay. Teresa sent me this over a year ago. Okay. I don't care what the stable boys do during their free time, but kindly leave them alone during working hours. Their job is to exercise the horses, not you. <laughs> the nerve, <laughs> Teresa. There. Um, so examine them. Okay. <clears throat> wow. Um, this handwriting is the same. Yeah. It does look like Teresa wrote it. So no one's been planting these. Well, it must, must be some weird coincidence. Well, Teresa definitely wrote both of these letters. Yeah, at least she's not putting those little daisies over her eyes anymore. Huh. Okay, something is just not right here. I mean, because nobody plans for their death like this, especially not someone as young as Teresa. I, mean, I want to send little Ethan away to boarding school. Then all of a sudden, some letter from the grave shows up saying no. And then Ethan and I, we, we plan to renew our vows. And then another letter from the grave saying no, Ethan should never remarry. I mean, what's next? Well, Ethan and I are going to be in bed. He's going to find some letter under his pillow from Teresa saying he should lead a celibate life. Wait, 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 wait. Wait just a minute here. What? Something's not right. Well, no, something's not right at all. Okay, what? Tell me. What is it? Honey, when exactly did Ethan decide to adopt little Ethan? You know, after Teresa died, after we got back from Mexico? Well, yeah, then how could... How could Teresa write about that in this letter? What? Oh, honey, my little gray cells are working here. How could Teresa write about this in this letter? I mean, how could she write about something that hadn't even happened yet? How could she write about something that happened after she died? <sighs> okay, so we know that Teresa wrote both of these letters. It's a perfect match. But in the letter, she references Ethan adopting little Ethan, which is impossible because Teresa was dead before that was even a thought. Correct. So, if Teresa wrote this, and she knows about Ethan adopting little Ethan, that can only mean one thing. <gasps> She's not dead! How could she not be dead? Oh, that conniving little bitch! It, I mean, what is wrong with that shark? Oh, it must be global warming. Oh, my God. Well, I mean, if Teresa is alive, where the hell is she? Because we got to make sure that she's dead again.